In this video, I'll be describing how to make a simple Google survey, step by step. To use Google Forms, you'll need a Google Gmail account. If you don't already have one, you can get one for free. If you need to, go ahead and pause the video for a moment while you write down the Google Forms link on this slide. If this is the first time you're using Google Forms, when you go to the Forms page, you'll see the screen shown on this slide. To see more options, click on More. Before you begin creating your survey, it's a good idea to decide what questions you'd like to ask and what kind of answers you'd like to receive. In this example, I'm going to be asking opinion questions people will be able to select their answers from a list. For this kind of survey, the blank quiz form works well. Click on the blank quiz icon to go to the form. The first thing to do when you get to the form page is to change the name of the form. Just click on the name that's already there and type in the name you want to use. I've called my form Violent TV. After you've renamed the form, go ahead and name the survey. I've called my survey Violent TV. The item type that works best for the kind of items I'm making is multiple choice. There are several other options that you can check out on your own. I named my first item Violent TV is bad for children, and my answer choices are always, most of the time, sometimes, and never. If you need to make more answer choices, click on Add Option. And if you don't want people to skip your item, turn on Required. My second item is Violent TV Makes Kids Misbehave. I've used the same answer choices I used for item one, and I've remembered to click on Required. Since I only want two items in my survey, it's done, so I'm going to send it. There's more than one way to invite people to take your survey. First, I'll show you how to email it. Start by clicking on the email icon. As soon as you click, you'll see the email form on your screen. Then, write in the email addresses of the people you'd like to invite and write a subject line and a message that will make people want to take your survey. Make sure you also check the Include Form in Email box. This will make it possible for people to fill in the form right in their email. This makes it very easy for people to take your survey. When you're done, click Send. Here's what my survey looks like when people open their email. All they have to do is click on their answers and hit the Submit button. Easy! There are lots of other ways you can share your survey. For example, you can send it out on social media. I'm not going to show you how to do that here, but if you have a social media account, it could be a good way to get lots of answers. If you'd like to send people a link to your survey, click on the link icon. After people have a chance to take your survey, it's time to look at your results. Go back to your survey page and click on the Responses link. The first thing you'll see isn't useful survey information. If you were a teacher making a quiz, this information would help you see how well your students are doing. But it won't help you understand your survey results, so you can ignore this part of the Responses page and scroll down. When you've scrolled down, you'll see these nice pie charts, which show the choices people have made. Pretty cool, eh? But there's even more. If you want to see details of how people responded, you can create a spreadsheet. To do this, scroll back up to the top of the page and click on the spreadsheet icon. You'll see a screen like this. Select Create a new spreadsheet then click on the Create link. 
And just like that, you'll see a spreadsheet showing all your results. You can learn a lot about people's opinions and ideas with surveys, and Google Forms makes it easy. Happy surveying!